Jason Vaughan, portrait photographer. I'm here again at Aura Studios near Northampton with the amazing Kelly Hathaway wearing quite a stunning dress here. So PixPro's asked me to do a, a little video on how to shoot shiny materials, shiny surface. Uh, you can't really get much shinier than a nice black latex dress all shined up by the wonderful studio owner, Emily. Okay, so technically I wouldn't say there's a right or a wrong way to shoot it. It depends on what your end result is that you want to get. So what I'm gonna do, instead of telling you how to shoot it, I'm gonna show you the difference shooting shiny material with two different key lights. So we're starting off with a great big 170 octa. Now I've metered that octa, it's 54 inches away from the subject and I've metered it at 5.6, so F5.6, ISO 100, 1 200th of a second. I've got a rim light at the back here, gridded strip box, just to add a little bit of separation from the background. And again, I've metered that at F5.6 and it's about the same distance away at the back. So we've got two lights, okay, beautiful model and a nice shiny surface. What we're gonna do now is we'll shoot with the 170 octa and then we'll switch it over to a 65 centimeter rice bowl. So we've got quite a big difference, but we'll keep it at the same distance from the subject. And then you can look at the two images and you can actually see what the difference is on a shiny surface between the different light sources. And you can decide for yourself how you wanna light your shiny subjects. So yeah, just lots of, that's perfect. I don't really need to tell you anything, do I? Stay there for me. Come in a little bit further back. Just do a few. Okay, so we've got a few there, nice big key light and the rim light. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna switch it over to a smaller modifier. I'm gonna measure it all up, make sure it's the same distance from the subject, and then we can put the images up and you can actually see side by side the different effect you get from the size of the modifier on a very shiny reflective surface. Okay, so we've switched it now. We've got it the same distance from the model. We've switched it now for the 65 centimeter rice bowl. So a much smaller modifier one of my favorite modifiers, but much, much smaller than the 170 octa we've just had on there. Okay, it is the same distance as I've said, so it's 54 inches. Might not look like it, but it is. Okay, and what we're gonna do now is take a few shots so that we can show you the difference. That's good, just a couple more. Don't slip over, whatever you do. <laughs> yeah, lots of angles, lots of shapes. Lots of attitude. Awesome, just gonna show you what we got. Oh, I love it. Ah, love but it. you said you prefer the big modifier. So if we go back to, yeah. you can see the difference. Yeah, big difference. Love it. Okay. Brilliant. So just two options, just to show you the different effect you're gonna get on a reflective or shiny surface, depending on the modifier that you're gonna use. So it really does depend on what the end result is that you want and what you wanna achieve with the images.